guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Oh, I'm so tired. And today I thought I will bring you on, oh, I have water on my shirt. No, I don't. It's the embroidered. A day in the life of me and my keto journey and what I eat, what I do on a Sunday. Because I've done the grocery shopping. I'm making chicken wings for lunch and ham with cream cheese for breakfast. Cat was doing something crazy. Um, yes, and I got some review videos to film today. And yes, so we started the day with coffee, and it's the buttery caramel, I think. And I already ate it, but I had a keto donut that is pumpkin spice. I'm getting ready to wash up some dishes, get this kitchen cleaned up, and then I'm gonna record my video. And then we're gonna head to grocery shopping and to, I think the Dollar Tree, I need to come up with another fabulous Dollar Tree DIY. I say fabulous because I love them and I hope you do too. So let's get this day started and look at my eyeballs. I'm so tired. It's Sunday, like I said, on Thursday, I worked my day job and then I worked a concert at my part-time job. Friday, I worked my day job and a part-time job at the concert uh, at the Schottenstein Center. And then Saturday, I worked a football game all day. I walked 8.5 miles. So today I'm just dragging a little bit, but we're gonna have fun and we're gonna get some things done so I can get my week ready um, and all my foods prepared. All right, now we'll get going. <laughs> okay, I'm out of CVS. I got some cute stuff. Picked up prescriptions. Nobody cares about that. And the summer stuff is 75% off at my store. I got these snacking pickles by Rick's Picks. Crispy, savory, garlic dill pickle spears. There's one serving in here. There's 10 calories, two carbohydrates two sugars so there are sugars in it which I shouldn't have but for the convenience factor I will eat them and these are garlic dill and I got seven packs of these they were regularly $2.49 I paid 62 cents for those I grabbed a mayo this was regularly $6.99 I paid $1.75 because they were 75% off and I use mayo I also grabbed some Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee and this is just the flavored the latte if you buy it um has sweetener in it that has 22 carbs 23 carbs for one k cup the, but this year they finally came out with the k cups and just the latte and not the i mean just this pumpkin spice not the sweetened but a bag is definitely a better price and I thought they were ten dollars but they were on sale for six ninety nine now I joined CVS Care Pass it's five dollars a month what you get with the Care Pass is twenty percent off your daily purchase whatever purchase you make of CVS products you get free shipping online and it's five dollars a month but you get a ten dollar ECB each month so you're getting extra money back so I did it and the first month is free and I got my $10 and I used it for that purchase so I spent $3. Um, you can cancel that care pass at any time. I'll see how beneficial it is to me um, just because, um, let's get going, we gotta get to the Dollar Tree. Um, why is it beneficial? Oh, you spend five and get $10 back in ECBs and I'm always utilizing my extra care bucks here. And that will be helpful towards paper product, laundry soap, things like that. The downside for me, so my health insurance, my prescriptions are through CVS Care Source. Like that's my, care, my prescription carrier. So I have to get prescriptions filled at CVS any reoccurring prescription, and I do get 20% off already of CVS brand products. So it's kind of a give or take on that one. Traffic today. So anyway, that's what I got. We should try one of these pickles because I'm hungry. While we're sitting here waiting to pull out. I'm hoping this is not full of juice, but we'll find out. They're almost like 
They're almost like those other pickles that are refrigerated, but these are not. Okay, okay. I see you in here, little pickle chips. We're gonna pull out, into traffic now, kosher garlicky, not full of juice. Spears, fresh bay, garlic good. They're good. There's a sweetness to them. Probably why they have two carbs. Well, that and it's a vegetable, but not bad. Perfect for on the go. Like when I work my part-time job or when I'm traveling. I mean, the good thing is these Best Buy is August of next year. So, I can take them with me when I go abroad in my carry-on bag for my meals because there's no, it's not liquid. Mmm, it's delicious. Okay, I'll be back. All right, everybody, I just got back from the grocery store. I'm not gonna do a proper haul, I didn't get a lot, but I did get two bags of pork fries, creamer for my coffee. They had in a K-cup some salted caramel. I know I just bought pumpkin spice, but it's coffee. I got two bricks of cheese, extra sharp and pepper jack, and then one shredded cheese, and two broccolis, and that's it. I'm gonna make broccoli salad today. Oh, not it. They had their chicken thighs on clearance, half price. So, I got this big old hum mumbo jumbo, six pounds of chicken thighs for $2.50. So I'm gonna put that in the freezer. Um, I did go into Target. I can show you what I picked up. Again, not enough for a haul, but to go with my Buffalo check, guys. I think there's a third one that's in between these two, so I hopefully can find that, but this was all that was left at the Target by where I went today. So I grabbed two of those. And like I said, I hope there's a third size. I grabbed two of these. These are 18 by 18 inch bar towels. Um, but I'm gonna make pillow coverings. I know, I shouldn't do that with my teeth. Buffalo check on the back, this is for Halloween. And it just says October 31st on this one. So what I'm going to do is sew them together and I'll show you. Put a zipper in the bottom. I have 20 by 20 pillow forms, but I'm pretty sure I can just stuff these in there. So that, and these are really nice and square. And I don't even have to hem them. Like they are, I think you have to find, oh, they have a little lip on them. Okay, here, maybe this way. Yeah, there we go. And there's a little, like the back one's a little bigger. So when I sew it up, I'll have Buffalo Chuck on one side and Halloween on the other. And I can put it out now and just have this side showing. And then when Halloween comes, flip it. Genius, huh? Halloween's giving, I'm telling you, I have a genius. I have it down. And this one says Raven's Claw in potions, elixirs, and brews. And it says, never more on the striped pillow. But I feel like I could still put that out for fall and then flip it over. So I'm gonna make these, this will be a DIY video coming up. And then the last thing I got, oh, does this not say Ohio State Buckeyes, guys? It's a red and gray, it's a blanket scarf. Um, you could put it on furniture, you could wear it. It makes a great table cover. It was $7, but I would probably wear it for the most part and then put it on my chair or something. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's scarlet and gray. Go Buckeyes. So I grabbed that at Target. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, get my chicken going, and then we're gonna go look at my craft room because it's getting clean today. It is a disaster zone, you will see. But I wanna get all this stuff put away first and then we will move on to the next project. It's a disaster in here too. I'll get it all cleaned up, don't worry. All right, I'm 
getting the chicken ready. I'm not going to fry it yet. It's still a little frozen, but I am going to separate it. I'm not sure if you've ever seen how to separate chicken. But these wings come in three pieces. I just take a really sharp knife. And what I'm looking for is that joint to go through here. And my old roommate and very good friend, Arthur, was a meat cutter. And he showed me how to joint chicken. So there, I went through. I got a little off kilter, and that's okay. I like mine separated into pieces. And then I'm just going to put them in the bowl back here. And they're still, like I said, a little frozen, so I won't cook them for a while. I'll put them back in the fridge, but here we go. We just go through that joint. Ooh, are you seeing what I'm doing? I don't think so. Let me move that over here and see if we can see it better over here. There we go. And through there. It's super easy. You just want to feel for the joint with your knife, and when you hit that joint, it will go right through takes a little practice, but once you've got it down, now you can totally cook these whole, but for portioning and for my lunches, I like to have them separated like that. And if you want, you can just kind of just feel for it. And I got them separated. Sometimes it's a little work. And then the little wing tips, I don't keep. I mean, I could if I was going to be making the bone broth soon, but I'm not, so but there you go, right down the middle. So I hope that helps somebody who wants to make chicken wings if you like them separated like I do. And the, when they're a little frozen still like this, it's kind of easier, so they're not as floppy. And you want to keep your skin if you're keto. If you're not keto, you can peel your skin off. So that's it. That is how I separate my chicken wings. And then we've got the chicken wings going here. And these have been in for about 15 minutes. I put in about five at a time. You really don't want to put in too many as you'll end up cooling down your grease, whatever you're cooking in, and it won't cook them through. So when I put these in, it dropped to about 300. I have it coming back up to temperature. As soon as these are cooked to my color liking, I will move them into the sauce. The sauce back here is just Frank's Red Hot, which is zero carbs and butter. I would say it's probably a cup of Red Hot with a stick of butter. That's how hot I like it, but I just tasted it until I got that consistency. They'll get tossed in there and set over here to cool so I can pack them in my lunch and then I have the water back here on to boil to make uh, to blanch the broccoli so I can make blo uh, some broccoli salad it's just made with mayonnaise just like a potato salad but I use broccoli instead I'll throw some cheese in with it and maybe a little mustard just because I like that tangy and the cuts through the broccoli so these just need to finish up and I'll show you when I toss them to the next container right, I'm gonna move these over and drop them into the hot sauce and you kind of want to do this when it's warm I feel like it soaks in a little better but while oops, sorry while that's happening I'm gonna put in some more wings that's a big one so it's gonna cook for a while like I said, I do about five at a time just to kind of avoid overfilling it for one thing. And then you give it a little stir. Because it will stick to the bottom until they get a crusty on the outer. See how it's stuck to my spatula? There we go. Now we're just going to let this go. It takes like 20 minutes. And then back here, I am literally just stirring it up. Kind of letting it do its thing. Look how nice and soft those are. And five is pretty much a serving for me with this broccoli sauce. So I'll And that's it. I'll let these cook and I'll just keep going. And that is how I make chicken wings for lunch.
while I'm cleaning house. Hey guys, we are in my craft room. I just finished videoing a tour. I need a haircut so bad. And I am editing some videos and I am working on my bullet journal. And I know some of you had mentioned that you would like to see it. It's kind of rudimentary. I'm not really a good artist or any of that nature. Um, but before I end this vlog today, I thought I would show you my bullet journaling stuff. Look at how clean it is behind me. I spent hours cleaning this room today because it was a disaster. It is 6.51 right now on a Sunday night and I'm just trying to get all this stuff up and out. So let me pause you real quick. I'll flip the camera around and I will show you what I'm working on in my bullet journal. So hang on and I'll show you my materials too. All right, here's the journal that I'm using. It is a Happy Planner Notes in the classic size so they have three different sizes this is classic they have a mini which i have for my daily calendar and then i think they have a larger one but i liked this size for my bullet journal the reason i like the happy planner is pages come out and you can stick them back in and move things around which i like so that's what the piece of paper looks like i have the ones with the dot grid and I have a hole punch so I can stick in other pages into this. Other things, any really anything can go into it. Um, supplies. Right now I am working with a metal ruler that I got at the Dollar Tree. I like this one. It lays flat. I would like to eventually find a shorter one. This is a little long. Um, I get these at the Dollar Tree. These are the felt tip color flow. I love them a lot. In black and then I ordered from wish these blue pens that are also a fine felt tip that I like to write in as well and I use a, a lead pencil or some type of a pencil and these that I get at the Dollar Tree are great these are the white um, Pentel erasers they work the best they don't smudge because I like you know dot off on the grid so I can draw these oh Oh, I was like, why is that backwards? But this is, these are front and back sheets. They're going to be for my YouTube calendar. And then I have some supplies over here. I keep, let me adjust you a little bit. I keep them in this copper basket that I purchased, I think at Target. And I have some silly scent markers and some pens. Although I prefer gel to these, but I just put these in here for now. I picked up in the back to school shopping another type of a ruler to get if I'm drawing something. These are all different markers that I have and they are all double tipped. This brand is Straightler and there is a fat tip on the end and then on the other side there is a fine tip for writing. In here so I have those and then I picked up these at the back to school and the target clearance they're the same type of pen but this their points not quite as fine as the straighter um, and the fat ones not quite as fat but that's okay they're all different colors so I have this markers that I use I have a glue stick in here these I got at the Dollar Tree Ooh, let me just pull these out I have these little baskets in here like different metal cups like this one has a pencil sharpener some tabs some binder clips that i need to take out of here and these fun pens with the like fur on the end so little fur balls and i have all different colors here in this one let me pull it out and any of these can be pulled in or out this is the one that also has the compass that I can draw circles. A nail file, because you know, you need your nails. Some more pencils. This I love. It was a makeup brush, but I use it to get the um, eraser stuff off when I'm right, if I'm doing a lot of erasing. I have, this is for hand lettering pens. I think there's two in here. Some more of the, um, color flows 
Some permanent markers. Oh, this is the chisel tip of the hand lettering pens I get at Dollar Tree. I get a lot of my pens at Dollar Tree. I got these mechanical pencils at Dollar Tree. I've had this one. And then these are um, Jelly Rolls. The actual Jelly Roll brand. And I love these. The per one that I prefer is the 10, but I bought a three pack at Hobby Lobby to try. And I'll show you where I utilize that in my um, bullet journal. But I have these in here, and then at the bottom down here, there's some pencil tops that I can put on here. So if I need to erase, I have that as well. Ooh. But the problem is they don't work on these mechanical pencils. Um, but they would work if it would fit, but I don't think it would fit on this pencil. Not really. So I have those. And then we'll put all of those away. And that goes in there as well. And then in here I have more pens. Um, all different kinds. The rest of the set. And there's a, another one. that This came as a four pack. I ordered from Wish. I have these gel pens from the Dollar Tree. Some more of these black um, color flows. Which I use a lot for outlining. They're in the wrong container. We'll fix those. Um, there's some blue felt tips and I love a good jelly roll, a good gel pen in these. So I have those and I'll leave this out because I'm getting ready to decorate for fall. And I have those and oh, he's going to go in here. Oh no, I wanted to have that and with the other materials back there. And then I have colored pencils in here as well. Just Crayola and uh, scissors. So I keep all of these materials in here. And then if there's a specific project oops, that I'm working on, I can just pull out if I want, or I usually just leave the basket sitting here. Now let's take a little tour, shall we? Ooh, my red pen, my marker, I gotta get a bigger Oh, well, maybe that'll help get these out of here and put that away. Okay, so here is my bullet journal. Let me see if I can show you real quick. This notebook was, I think, $6 with a coupon at Joanne, and it has three tabs. I think next year I'm going to do this as my planner and bullet journal, but right now, this year for finishing out, I have a separate planner. Um... And this is kind of a work in progress, but again, the reason I like it is I can move pages around. So you see here how I drew that in black, and then I those white jelly pens right over the black, and I love that. And this is just some ideas I have for some YouTube videos. Um, these will go here. This is going to be calendar pages for when I'm uploading. This is my subscribers as I... Boys, what do you got? Dubby's playing with the rubber band. This was my Christmas in July spread. And I'll put things on the backs eventually or not. I don't know. But these were the five days of Christmas in July. This is my fall DIY YouTube ideas. And videos I want to make. I just think it's fun to draw. Um, this would be my Halloween idea page. And for Thanksgiving... And Christmas is over here. This is a spread that I did for um, tracking reviews of items that have been sent to me that I am agreeing to review. And if I had to order it, do I need to do my review on Amazon, YouTube, whatever. And then when it's complete, I mark it off over here. These are some other reviews before I came up with that. And I think that's it in the YouTube section for now. It is. And then this is my just life in general. This is about my condo. It talks about paint colors we're allowed to have, uh, my home warranty, what day trash comes, just kind of life stuff for my, for my condo. And then these are some projects I want to do, like craft room, purge, and uh, cleaning drawers hasn't happened, but purging sure did. So these are just some things I want to do throughout my house inside and out and then I have two spots that have not been written in yet. 
these are all my prescriptions that I take for different things. And I just drew some medicine bottles and filled it in. I need to put something on these pages. These are the books, the authors that I love that have books coming out. And then these are, as I read the book, it goes on a bookshelf and I eventually we'll have this whole bookshelf filled with different books and these are just blank and then when I write in them and I fill in the book I'll color it a different color and birthdays are on this page here this is passive income from my part-time job my youtube channel things like that and I think oh back here I have the list my Christmas list for different people and then here, I love this page. This is my Christmas card list, Ooh, shadowing, um, that I'll write out when I'm ready to start doing my Christmas cards. So there's that. And then and this one is my trip to Ireland planning. I haven't done much in here yet other than a packing list. And it just says to pack or not to pack. That is the question. Um, some things we definitely want to see and who is all invited. So far, that's all I have. So that's my bullet journal. It's definitely a work in progress, but I love it. And like I said, in January, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna buy a new one that I can merge the two together and I'm gonna either buy, just I like a month at a glance. So I may buy a month at a glance or I will draw out a two page month at a glance. But for my YouTube upload schedule, this is perfectly fine and I'll just, finish it while I'm sitting here. So that's kind of my day in a nutshell. I hope you enjoy watching and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Toodaloo.